It's Premiership Cup semi-final week and we're back on the trail. Lads, ta tactically from the green team there, spot on. What I would say is Leicester are going to thrive off turnovers. Every time our backs have carried, we've carried in high. One turnover, we're defending a maul in our corner, okay? The detail, the process of what we do has to be in place. Get it's a massive a occasion up. for us to be able to compete against one of the most historic sides in English rugby, a team that's constantly challenged at the top of English rugby. Um, it's just brilliant for us to go out there and be able to challenge ourselves against a team like this. And it's something that as a club we're striving for to do more often. Yeah, obviously any time in which uh, any champ team really plays a Prem team, it's like where, where we want to do, we want to be successful for the champ. I think obviously the champ's a really good league and it's probably not getting the promotion it needs at the minute. So uh, we want to do it justice and we want to go out there on Sunday and we want to perform well enough to, uh, to, to put our names out there. If you go back into pre-season the summer when we had Northampton here, uh, we went down to Bristol and you know Cambridge these games in the in the Prem Cup it was it was exciting because of what what, what could be De Villa out the back to Shingler three on one now goes up early to Earl in the corner internally we always believe that we can compete with anybody and we've got to play extremely well, we've got to do a lot of things right and we've got to be in the game on 60 minutes. I think cup weeks, whether it's whatever the club you're at, there's definitely a different focus. We're playing a different opposition and everyone's you know, quietly excited about what's coming on Sunday. Let's not hide from it, we're coming up against one of the best teams in this country um, that are very, very good, they're very well coached, they're very good at what they do and they're towards the top of the Premiership and have won the Premiership many times as well as European titles for a reason. But come Sunday, it's an opportunity for us to show what we're about. And we, as I said, we've got to do a lot of things very well. Um, and can we be in the game on 60 minutes to give ourselves a chance? They're really proud of how we've worked um, over the last month. The things that we've brought in, we've implemented and we keep building on it, which is really, really awesome to see. I think the key for us is that we've got to level it up. Last week was a really good work for us, but now we've got to step up. We've got to step up to a new level. There's a couple of plays um, to do to prep of what Leicester are potentially going to bring to us this weekend. And then we've got 48 hours to wait before the kickoff, all right? Training this week's been intense. Um, it's been a focus from, from the minute the boys get in to meetings to gym sessions, all these sort of prep preparation areas and then the sessions have been intense. There's definitely been a focus from the boys of what we need to bring, get the plan we want going forward to this Sunday. Yeah, Leicester Tigers, they're a massive team. Uh, they've obviously won the Heineken Cup, won the Champions Cup, um, won the Premiership. So getting a team like that to come down to uh, trail finders is, is huge. It's a, it's a huge part of our, our club now and it'll be a huge part of our history. So we're just really looking forward to Sunday and just having the, the opportunity, the chance to, to play against them. Everyone wants to be involved with any certain amount of players playing, but that's why rugby's, uh, rugby's special. Everyone's, everyone's together for the same common goal and this week is no better opportunity. You try and enjoy these type of games. Um, I think it's it's something for the players to really go out there and enjoy. And as I say, it's one where I think I can enjoy these weeks more because I, I don't think there's loads of pressure on us. Um, I think we can go out there and really express ourselves. And I think the overriding emotion f for myself is the excitement of the game, um, the excitement to go and show what we're about as a club, what we're about as a team and, and who we are. Fifteen men v fifteen men. Mm. I tell you what, I prefer to be in this room mm. with you boys. Fight for each other and everything we do today. As we said every single time, one more effort, one more effort. Yeah, loads of motion in here. Use that as your fuel. Yeah, yeah that's your fuel for this game. Oh, yeah. We can get into them. Yeah. yeah? yeah. Two, three. Yeah. Here come Ealing. The image of what every bright young club aspires to be. 
Others may have put a cap on their premiership dreams right now. But it hasn't stopped them hoping, lobbying, still dreaming. And this could be very much a statement day for Ealing Trail Finders, those who wear the bobble hats and those who wear the shirts. Trail Finders putting the shove on and winning the penalty, and Hampson comes away with it. Now Billy, now being Billy in West London. Jordy Reid, a very familiar face, and Cornish, and punching holes that earns them 15 metres. And taken nicely by Rogerson and Rogerson releasing Ollie Hassel Collins and he dropped it. Fock and a singer, 12 trees trying to tackle him. Fock and a singer scores. Leicester wheelbarrowing it towards the line and the try scored by Finn Theobald Thomas. But Dilly managing to, to find De Vere on the way to the right hand side and Smith and this is really shot and Jonah Holmes. Tipped up six, seven metres short for the try that would put England ahead. Tackle now. Short range, scores! And the gods of cup upsets begin to stir on a Sunday afternoon. Whiteley, and then the charging run from Liebenberg. Not much room, not enough room. Max Badilly, oh, it's intercepted! And taken on by Fokker the Singer, scores. Despite the best efforts of Dan Lancaster, 